Hello everyone and welcome. So a while ago I did a video on this 2014 Mac. Um, apparently did good enough to the point that a friend of the family decided to bring me his 2012 Mac Mini because it's breaking. So as you can see when I tried to boot the computer everything seems to work fine except for the fact that we have a pretty big problem with the OS something doesn't work after a while of this screen it goes into a widescreen and it repeats the process a bunch so um, from what I checked online it's probably a problem with the OS so what I'm going to do is uh, try to fix it to pull the hard drive out see if I can just connect it to my regular PC and see if I can back up any sort of data and then maybe try to reinstall the OS um, but yeah I'm using an iFixit guide and let's hope, yep, and that's the process of it shutting down and going into a white screen. But yeah, let's uh, let's disassemble this thing and let's see what can we do. So the first step is actually pretty easy. We all need to do is just to get the white into this thing here. And we do it by taking these holes and spinning it. I need two hands for that, so I'll come back when I have this down. So literally all I did was to just spin it. Um, now it's removable and as you can see we have a toolless install for the RAM. We have here 2 gigs of DDR3 memory which is pretty cool. We have here the fan over the CPU and the Wi-Fi antenna. It's pretty damn cool for Apple to to do something like a toolless running installation. Something that they probably haven't done since this Mac came out back in 2012. But yeah, let's move on. Let's remove the RAM and remove the fan. Okay, RAM is out, and to remove the fan we have three screws, one, two, and three, so let's do that. Okay, so we use a T6 torque screw, and we remove the cable right over here, and um, let's move on to the next step. Okay, so we had a plate over the CPU heatsink, um, with a single screw, that's the fan screw, and that's the other screw that was connected to it, so we remove that, and now I think we remove the antenna, yeah, the wife antenna, so let's do that. Okay, removing two hex scores and two torque scores, we are able to pull out the Wi-Fi antenna and now we just need to remove that cable and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so the next step we are going to set up the ma um, pulling out the motherboard, so we have to pull this one off and this one off. Nice. Now we'll move on some scores off from the motherboard. Um, removing two scores, one here and one here, let's pull out the motherboard. With the motherboard out of place, we now have completely um, free access to the hard drive and we can just take it out. Oh, it's dusty. I'll, I'll give it a quick clean and connect it to my PC and see what we can do. With the hard drive fully out, let's put it back in this little case over here and connect it to the PC. Okay, so unfortunately for me, I tried to get this thing on Windows because it would be easier, but unfortunately that didn't work. So I thought maybe it was a problem that, like, because it was showing up in this management. So I figured it might be a problem that um, it has, like, this dif different uh, format. Um, so yeah, only Mac could probably read it, so I put it in my uh, my Mac and it works. So... I'm hoping that at the very least I can find some old photos and videos um, that I can ext extract and have them uh, backed up somewhere else. Um, but yeah, let's do that. And after we do that, we can uh, clean this and try to see if uh, reinstalling an OS on that might work. Okay, so um, this is going to be a long process. There is only six games left out of the fucking 500 that was in it initially. What the hell? Okay, so something that's a bit interesting, um, I removed the heatsink from the CPU and an AMD chip that is not a graphics card, which is weird, but apparently it exists here. But yeah, I removed it, so I have no idea if any of you guys know in the comments what this AMD chip, that will be fucking awesome, but I'm pretty sure that this is the CPU. Um, and yeah, um, I didn't really need to replace the thermal paste, it was just fine, so I'm kind of stuck hoping that I'm not breaking either of these things. Yay! Okay, so um, it's been a while, but apparently there is like 130 gigs of uh, photos on, the, on this boy over here. 
So I got this drive. I have a, if you remember my laptop video, um, I took this drive and I put a pretty much a fresh install of Windows on it. So, so I'm going to boot from this drive and see whether or not we, we can use it um, as maybe a Windows laptop because I'm not sure about Mac OS anymore. Okay, so um, small update. I've been at it for uh, multiple hours now. I've taken an old drive and I, uh, I've completely deleted it. And the one I showed you last time, I've taken my USB boot drive and made it into a Mac OS boot drive. Um, and now I've, we're kind of installing Mac OS. I'm really hoping that everything would be fine because I, I wanted uh, at first to install uh, Windows. Unfortunately, it didn't work. I don't think you can do that. So I'm really hoping that reinstalling macOS will be good. Um, I've had a, a lot of things to consider. I didn't really want to delete all of the, the photos. So I kind of wanted to leave them to the side and me just see if it is really what they had a, a software problem in and if it's something that I can fix. And if it is, then it's definitely be, be good. We're almost halfway there. I'll update you if uh, if we succeeded. Um, time for another little update. Um, so I uh, I've reinstalled the old hard drive. I have um, booted into internet recovery mode because because regular recovery mode didn't work. So that's what we're going to do now. It says that it's going to be done in a minute. We have been like this for about five, ten minutes, something like that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, it is funny to see how the how it is sweating. Like air is fucking flowing. This thing is overheating like a fucking crazy right now. So that's fun. Yeah, I'll ca I'll catch you, but probably in the in the next half an hour when once this is finished. Yeah, um, guys, um, it, it's the next day. I, I have basically given up, but I I thought I, I tried everything, but I didn't try to boot into save mode, apparently, with the original hard drive, and, and I'm in macOS, so I'm, I'm not sure how to feel about it. I, I need to ask the owner the password so I can get into the PC and see maybe I can fix it, but, but we're... We're in Mac OS. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, guys, so um, I'm in Mac OS. Everything is uh, working just fine. Um, the Wi Fi is bad. Okay, so yeah. I think, I think uh, the old hard drive that we have here is. Uh, Probably not the best thing to keep in this PC and there might be some uh, problems with the yeah I, I think uh, getting an SSD might, might be a good idea um, this is weird <laughs> yeah so guys um, just one last update I um, after doing this some uh, scripts in a terminal um, I think I have finally got this thing to reliably boot, um, after whatever, after a reset, after a few hours of not working, after shutdown, sleep, whatever. I've tested it a few times now, actually, on different occasions and different hours, so I know that definitely some things have been resetted. Um, and basically, my, as you can see, if you want to open the article below, um, basically what I did was uh, he, uh, he wrote down all of those uh, lines that basically go like, um, this is what you need to do to disable your discrete graphic card and, um, and disable all of the drivers that you need to load and whatever. So I just put all of that into one script that I can call upon on a uh, on single user mode that I just click on the command and S. So it's really easy for me to just um, call my script um, and after my script is loaded, 
the computer just need to boot cycle a few times and after a few times um, either boots from the Mac itself or from the Mac or from uh, manually from me after a few times it is working and to get it stable I did create a click me read me text so this text just is like copy this specific line to get the driver work working again so that the computer won't crash in like the first 10 seconds of its runtime or after like opening a random web page or having a few things running simultaneously because that did happen like every few minutes at the first time where I didn't really successfully load um, that uh, driver file which I think that's a driver file but yeah so it just it didn't work and the PC just kept going like different color screen because something in the graphics didn't work so I'm pre so yeah I did a few testing and this seems pretty reliable so I'm safe to say that while it's not the most comfortable to get the computer running it is something that is consistently achievable which I couldn't do anytime else no matter what fix I tried I couldn't find that something that was reliable enough that every time that I tried to boot the Mac I'm getting into the OS and this finally worked so I'm pretty happy um and yeah temps temps are actually pretty fine right now i did do some testing and on 720p from twitch i did got like around the 90 not the like 100 that i saw previously so maybe something worked i don't know i don't think it did um but yeah it, it, this this was a painful thing unfortunately all of the scripts i i, I wrote and um everything that is more technical it is something that is a bit harder for the average user which is who i'm sending this pc to back is but i feel like it's to the point where it's fine enough so i'm feeling i'm i'm feeling good enough that i can ship something that i know with a little bit of twinker and a little bit of uh waiting you can get it working so yeah i can finally i can finally stop putting all of my uh off work hours into this mac yeah um bye i guess